just packed. They took away my nice new clothes and dolled me up in track. They marched me 20 miles a day to fit me for the war. I didn't mind the fall of 19, but the last one made me poor. Oh, it's not the pack that you carry on your back, nor the Springfield on your shoulder, nor the five-inch trust of Clinton County door that makes you feel your limbs are growing older, and it's not the hike on the hard current pike that wipes away your smile, nor the fox for the sisters that raise the blooming blisters. It's the last long mile. <laughs> They'll send us over and they'll put us in a trench. Taking such shots at the Fritzes with the Tommies and the French. And someday we'll be marching through a town across the Rhine. And then you bet we'll all forget these mournful words of mine. Oh, it's not a fact that you carry on your back. under sacks. Not me, coughing like hags, we cursed through sludge, till on the haunting flares we turned our backs and towards our distant rest began to trudge. Men marched to sleep. Many had lost their boots, but limped on, bloodshot. All went lame, all blind, drunk with fatigue, deaf even to the hoots of disappointed shells that dropped behind. Gas! Gas! Quick, boys! An ecstasy of fumbling, fitting the clumsy helmets just in time. But someone still was yelling out and stumbling, and floundering like a man in fire or lime. Dim, through the misty panes and thick green light, as under a green sea, I saw him, drowning. In all my dreams, before my helpless sight, he plunges at me, guttering, choking, drowning. If, in some smothering dreams, you too could pace behind the wagon that we flung him in and watch the white eyes writhing in his face, his hanging face, like a devil sick of sin. If you could hear at every jolt the blood come gargling from the froth-corrupted lungs, obscene as cancer, bitter as the cud of vile, incurable sores on innocent tongues, my friend, you would not tell with such high zest to children, ardent for some desperate glory, the old lie. Dolce et decorum est, pro patria mori. 